guys, this is the Epiphany, and today I'm going to show you guys um, Qdala Village Cough against Colt. Um, the cough is actually happening at 20.30 hours, which is 6.30 a.m. in the morning um, for where I live in Australia. So I cannot um, give a commentary at the time. I have to finish recording, and then during the day I add commentary after uh, as I'm editing the video. So if, if you guys, um, I'm going to be talking for like 30 minutes, so if you guys don't want to see that, then you can obviously not watch the video. Um, yeah, but other than that, I'd like to make a few announcements with regards to my character. Um, I just, my original plan was to stop playing until June because university has started and I want to focus on studying. However, there are a few things that happened in the game which has convinced me to return. Okay, the first thing that happened was I have been promoted to second in command of Infinity. Uh, so thank you, Descotter, for that. I'm sure I'll live up to your expectations. Secondly, the cough activity for um force alliance is in peak form uh many more people are turning up the coughs um coughs are also interesting and good um pvp action which is why i decided to stay uh another thing is that thesis who is a multi-logger he has been banned so uh he doesn't like mass hit like all 29 of our prisms at once uh yeah but yeah, so basically cough activity is pretty nice at the moment. Not too many coughs because we don't get hit by multi-loggers. Also, quality coughs. Uh, in terms of my YouTube videos, I will be only uploading once per one or two weeks because of my strict time schedule. Um, yeah, so in the morning at 20, 30 hours, this whole map here will be filled with force. So if you want to, um, if you want to check that out, then keep watching the video. Okay, so now I'll skip forward to the cough. All right, guys. Um, yeah, at um, Dollar Village, it's six twenty-seven a.m. Uh, in Australia right now. I just um, at the time I woke up, I had to be very quiet because I didn't want to wake up the people around me. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to be giving a uh, commentary on this cough. Um, because at the time I couldn't give a commentary while the cough was going on because um, I had to be quiet. Yeah, so I'll just um give some commentary okay so as you can see we have a, a lot of force um at this area right now we are defending this area um the majority of the people here seem to be from infinity they lined up in a row at the top left uh the cough starts in three minutes so we we'll have to see um how many force turn up uh, how many cold turn up i'm pretty sure that they are coming in from the cannon because that's what they always do or well, not always but yeah yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, this is a pretty big cough. Also, um, I've also discovered that there was a mandatory cough, which is what this is, and also an optional cough. So, uh, mandatory cough means every single person in the alliance has to come. And um, optional cough, come if you want. But normally at optional coughs, like let's say we defend... Uh, Petrified Forest or Bleak Legion Bastion, which is for ghost areas. We we have like 40 people turn up anyway, which is nice. Yes, yeah, so I thought that that was mandatory cough, but turns out that this is mandatory, and now I can see why it's called mandatory. Um, yeah. Basically, um, the Scotter he he's running this cough. He um he's running this cough. He's hosting this cough, so. Uh, we set up a trap here. Basically, uh, we are one map above the gate. So, if Colt was to come in the gate, they'd face like all bloody 100 of us here, and they will bloody we'd aggress them instantly. Uh, the coffee is starting in one minute, so I am quite uh, keen to see what will happen here. Um, they are using the cannon because my friend just told me that. All right, the Scotter is taking charge now. He, um, yeah, basically, um, we listen to what he says and we do what he, what, what he wants. He's very, very experienced, uh, when it turns to cough organization, like that, that's why I respect him so much. Like he knows like the mechanics, he knows the best, uh, orders to give depending on the situation. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so um, it, it's 
Mandatory car should be starting any second now at um, this area. We are one map above the gate, so let's see. We're not leaving this map. All right, Fidala Village. All right, let's see how many we have. We have 94 force here, man. That is absolutely insane. I've never seen, like, this many people um, at Koth. Well, one time I was in Colt, and that uh, force had 117, which I'm pretty sure was the record. That was their last uh, so-called compulsory Koth. Um, or mandatory Koth, yeah, same thing. Uh, yeah, but... We have 94 now, which is a bit less than uh, last time in January. I saw Force have 117, but it's pretty nice. All right, yeah, there's one enemy right there. Of course, he gets attacked instantly. Um, Eka Hecker, also a friend of mine, uh, spotted that in a rip zone, attacked him immediately, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so judging from the fact that it's already been one minute and we haven't seen um, Colt on the scoreboard yet, that means they are coming in through the cannon, so they will be in one of two maps, the dojo map, or um, a map that is a few maps to the left, I think. Pretty sure they're at the dojo. Okay, so one of my um, alliance members has um, a spy, and he said, uh, Zen, that, yeah, that is the coordinates, I think, for the dojo map, I'm not sure, or maybe the cannon. Oh, he has, he has a spy in thing. Okay. Yeah, so you can see as soon as Colt comes on this map, we aggress them instantly and we gang them. Huh. This is actually a mad cough. Like, even though I might not be doing anything much, it's pretty nice. Um... The reason why um, people are saying not to overgang is because um, it's unnecessary. Like, a 2v1 or 3v1 is uh, good enough. Oh, really? They have 16? Only 16? That's pretty sad, considering... Um, Cold is like an 8,800 member alliance. That's pretty sad. Yeah, people... Um, Cold are coming on this map, getting instant aggroed, like you can see. All the red swords are cults, and all the um, the green stars are allies, which is force. The reason why it's not good to gang is because the more people you have in the, um, in the fights, the, the less people you have counting for maps. 29 minus 50, I'm pretty sure it's the dojo map, uh, which is one up, two to the right. I'm pretty sure it's the dojo map. Uh, even though Scotta is technically uh, taking charge of this cough, I tend to um, sometimes give orders as well to like back him up in, in case um, he talks and it looks like he's um, spamming the chat. But yeah, I tend to back him up and give orders. Uh, they got up their numbers to 28. That's all right. We have 73. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, we're staying put here at the moment. We have more characters and more maps. So if they want to win this cough, they have to come and kill us. Uh, or they spread out to get more maps than us because maps is more important. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that they are penalized because they have a ton more areas than we do. So that's good for us. Um, Uthman is Ena Ripsa. Um, his name is Ena Ripsa in the game. He's, um, basically very enthusiastic when it comes to, uh, coughs for cult, but he's not very good, um, at PvP. He doesn't, he yells in capital letters in the chat. One time I was looking at them, um, uh, I was logged into my, um, character who was in cult alliance and it was a cult versus arc, arch alliance. And yeah, it was pretty um, havoc. I'm going to undertake this guy now. Uh, uh, someone else already did it, but... Yeah, Anna Rips are spammed in capital letters and it just creates chaos in the Alliance chat. There is there is a lot more on the way. Uh, one of my Alliance members said that... Um, yeah... 
you know, to be honest, I'm not surprised that um, so many people in Force have a spy in Cult. It's so easy to get into Cult. Like, even the Discord, it's so easy to get in. You can just fake to be someone else, and then they let you in. It's so bad. Um, suspect just PM'd me. I wonder what he wants. What's the bet that he's going to... What's the bet that he's going to ask to join Force? Um... Yeah, once again, um, I am giving this commentary like um, a couple of hours after this video was recorded, but I'm going to try and make it seem like it was record. Uh, it was co commentary at the time, so it looks realistic. So yeah, I actually know like what's going to happen, but I'm not going to spoil it just for the sake of the video. Yep. What do you expect? Suspect wants to join force. Um, yeah. He wants to join, but I'm pretty sure he's been known to be. Uh, he's been known as a scammer. Okay, we have um, a cult on this map at the bottom. Instant attack, as expected. Uh, our numbers are fluctuating, going up and down, but we're maintaining 80 plus at all times, so that's good. Uh, I'm pretty sure that a couple of uh, force members have spread it out to like the um, the lower the lower maps on the bottom left, just for the sake of getting maps. Which is good because there's no way that they'll reach um, those forces. Cult, there's no way that cult will reach those forces unless they come through us. So those guys can stay there to get maps. It's fine. I'm telling my alliance that um, we're, we're looking pretty good at the moment. So if cult wants to win this cough, they have to face us. There's no way that they can win like this. There's zero out of 30 uh, on the scoreboard and they have only one map. Uh, Folly is saying that they're standing close to five Pandala and neutral at the moment. That's because they're getting the cannon. Uh, the cannon is uh, a few maps. It's in the border. They're coming in waves, apparently. Um, that's whatever. Uh, only skill. <sighs> Funny guy. Um, like, you can see that there are still some people in the Alliance that, like, don't have as much knowledge of cough as others, but overall, I I'm pretty proud of, um, Force. Like, in the past few weeks, I've been organizing coughs and motivating people to come to cough to defend areas and stuff. Uh, it's, it's pretty nice. We, we actually have a cursed pyramid, um, at o o uh, that's coming up, I think, uh, two days from now, so I hope we get that back as well. Uh, I hope that I'm running for. Uh, I'm going to be running that cough, so it's good. Um, yeah, so everyone in this map, I'm pretty certain, maybe not like one or two people, but they they have a role of undertaker or healer because that's that's the whole point of cough. There's no point in killing someone in cough if you can't if you don't have anyone to undertake them because a healer from cult can just come and revive. Um, yeah, oh, it's nine out of thirty now, so I'm just gonna see um it, when when we're making a move scotter is in charge he's telling everyone to stay here which is a good idea because if we if we stay here and if cult stayed the dojo map we're gonna win we have more maps more characters so like def we're defending as well so we can just stay here anyway like there's no way that they can win this unless they spread out to maps or they come and kill us but they'd have to spread out to at least, I'd say, 10 maps to be able to count as 5 because they're penalized. Uh, yeah, so it's looking pretty good at the moment. Let's say that they do spread out to 10 maps. There's not even 10 maps in here for them to control. Uh, because we have, like, the other 5 at the moment, so they have to legit come to us and kill us. Uh, IMT said Pendawa is 27 minus 48, which is... Um, Pandawa is the name of Afman's Pandawa, um, I think. Uh, Afman is Anna Ripsa. He names his character Anna Ripsa and Pandawa, I don't know. But if if he is here on both characters and they both have AVA, then we can assume he's multi-logging. I have seen him multi-log before, but I'm not sure. Um, I, I can't prove it. Amit um, has a spy in... Cult um, as well, saying that they're using the cannon. 
and they are using the first option from the cannon, which is the dojo map, I am pretty certain. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it's a dojo map, that's where they're at. Holy shit, we've gone up to 94. <laughs> yep, uh, Graves can be seen at the bottom. Of course, um, I think that's Race, actually. He, he instantaneously undertakes. That's good. Yeah, that and it rips on the bottom left of the screen is uh, Race. Good PvP as well, has been in my previous videos. Uh, we, we seem to have some sort of crow on the right hand side in a press fix set. I'm not sure if he's actually, um, that's his real set, but it's probably just here for the lols. Alright, there's um, a cold at the bottom here, instantaneously gets attacked by race. Oh, uh, that's good. Yeah, so Scotter gave the order of going to 28 minus 50. So everyone's going to go there. I am lagging a bit. Um, yeah. 28 minus 50 is one map on the left of the uh, dojo map. Yeah. Yep. I think Colt are going to start coming to this map now. Yep, here they are. They're coming. Instantaneously get attacked. Yep, more and more cold coming. Instantaneously getting attacked. Oh, there's like a lot more of them now. Yep, there's a ton more of them. I might actually have to join an aggro, but I don't really f feel like it because it's like so early in the morning uh, at the time. So, yeah. Yeah, um... I'm actually lagging like pretty bad right now because of um how many people are on this map. Yeah, but you can see like there's there's a ton of like action going on, a lot of cult on the right hand side. Uh force is still dominating in terms of numbers though. So it's looking pretty good. We are we're just pretty much attacking them now. Uh, like I said before, I do not want to get into any aggros unless I have to because I was pretty tired at the time, uh, 6.30 a.m. and all. Uh, I'm just going to tell my lines that um, there's PvP going on on this map. Um... More and more people are joining the map now. <laughs> Boxius. Ton of fights in this map. Like a ton of fights. Hmm. More and more force are turning up on this map. Uh, if you were to count, I'd, I'm pretty certain there's, a, there's more green stars on this map than red swords. Close though. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't awake at this. Um, I wasn't paying attention, but um, there's a guy that's being undertaken. And there's also a guy trying to heal. But he got attacked uh, by Amit. Yeah, that's one of the um, important strategies. I, I, I want to take this guy here, though. There's there's one of the, um, an, an important uh, strategy you need to do is that uh, if somebody in cult is trying to heal some somewhere someone else from cult that is dying, then it's best to attack the healer so that it, so that they don't finish off the healing process because it takes like ten seconds. Uh, yeah, um, this guy's been ganged 3v1, so I'm just going to join him, see how it goes, 2v2 at the moment. Um, Jesus Christ. Well, they all joined so fast, 2v5 now. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not going to even bother. 
There's no way we can win this. Yeah, there's there's no way we can win this 2v5. Um, yeah, so basically, in a situation like this, if you know that you're not going to win an aggro uh, like this, then what you got to do is stall the fight. So basically, you take as long as you um, as long as you can, so that you keep them busy. You prevent them from getting any uh, points for their alliance, and then you you talk to your alliance. Uh, make sure that they have control of this map. What that means is that uh, they have. Uh, they fill this map with force, basically. That's what it means by having uh, full control of this map. Uh, that being said, after they uh, after they have full control of this map, uh, then we can leave the fight. Uh, that might sound bad, but if you guys don't know much about Koth, um basically, if we leave the fight, we are not completely dead. We show up as a grave. So, once we're a grave, if there are healers on the map, they can heal us up. That's the beauty of um, coughs. It's not like it's not like a real Bonta vs Brachma fight where you permanently get uh, destroyed and then you lose. Um, yeah. So we're just going to stay put in this fight until our uh, force have control of this map, so that um, basically when um, when they have control of this map and there's going to be people here, they can heal us up. So I'm telling Amit that's what the plan is. Uh yeah, so the difficulty um with this oh uh, wow well, there's only one cult left. Uh yeah, but the difficulty of this is that they have shields and heals. Uh being uh, having a Sadira on the team, an echo flip. For heals and a um, masquerader for shields. If it was like easier characters, it is possible to win a two v five. Um, yeah, so I'm just telling my alliance that five card about to come out of here, and because me and Amit, uh, we are gang two v five, we're gonna die, and we need heals. All right, Freighty said map is safe, so I'm going to leave the fight. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the fight. Tell Amit to do that as well. We have control of the map, so we're, they're going to instantly aggress the cult that just won the fight. Uh, press no to do to do you want to free your soul? Yeah. So see the guy at the bottom left here. Uh, he has a healer potion. He's healing me up immediately. Yep. Yeah. I'm healed up. Thank you for that. You can also see that. Um, the cult that just came out of the fight, they're getting aggroed instantaneously because we have a ton of people on this map. Yeah, so that's what, um, basically, that is what um, a healer does. Uh, basically, they resurrect fallen um, allies that have um, died in battle. So it's good to have, um, it's good to have healers. Yeah, so, th um, yeah, so right now I'm back in the game and I can get points for my lines. That's how it works. See the greys on the right hand side, they are basically um, dead cult. The opposite of healing is undertaking, uh, which is that potion that these two guys are using right now. I, I'm also an undertaker, but since they were doing it already, I don't need to. Uh, yeah, but an undertaker is the opposite of healing, and they eliminate enemies from the fight. Um, yeah, like that. Um, see the healers on the left hand side, they're healing up um, fallen allies that have just died, like or Amit just got resurrected. Uh, enemies are getting undertaken. So that's good. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, it's very, very important to have either an Undertaker or a healer role in Koth because you heal your allies up that have fallen and you undertake enemies that have died from battle so that they can no longer be in the game. Um, yeah, it's good, to, it's good to undertake them because if you don't undertake them, then... They'll get healed up by their allies. Uh, thank you to whoever is using bread on me right now. I have bread myself, but thanks to whoever is using bread on me. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good at the moment. 
there's two greys on the right hand side. Um, not sure who who they are. I didn't notice them at the at the time. Oh, it turns out they were enemies. Yeah, all cult are eliminated from this map and area. Yeah, so um, I think we got this from here. We killed um, all of the cults. Oh, there's one cult here. I'm pretty sure it's going to get attacked instantly. Yep. Dexius attacked instantly. Uh, yeah, so there's like a lot of fights on this uh, map. So more and more people uh, that finish off their aggros, our number is going to grow up again. Cults that are getting killed um, appear as a grave. They get undertaken um, immediately. Um, yeah, that's the um, one of the things I like about Force. People actually know what they're doing. They heal and undertake when necessary. They attack opponents who heal and undertake. So it prevents them from healing and undertaking. <laughs> Scott is dead. He's getting healed up though. Yeah. Yeah, but there is no limit on the number of times uh, you can get healed or undertaken during a cough. Um, if you die, you turn into a grave, you get healed up by your allies, and you're back in the game. That's pretty much what it's, the, uh, what it's like. Yeah. Our numbers are going to grow again because more and more people are winning their aggros. So, yeah, they, they're going to be counting as um, people in the map, uh, people in the cough, getting points for the alliance again, so that's good. Yeah. See, we have a ton of undertakers on this map, which is good. Um, th that's uh, one of the things that sets us apart from cult. Uh, cult is mainly PVMers um, who don't even know what cough is, and I bet half of them don't even have undertaker or healer roles. Uh, I'm telling my leader that uh, apparently a uh, suspect PM me before saying that apparently we, we, we're letting him into force but Scotter didn't uh, I don't invite anyone or do anything without Scotter's permission because he is my leader so I don't abuse my rank either so um, yeah most uh, well not most but like some second in commands tend to not like refer back to their leader when doing something um, I reckon that's a bad thing I don't do that yeah, I always refer to my leader when I um, do something. Yeah. One cult here. I'm not sure where he is. Yeah, our numbers are growing again. We're up to 55 because uh, more and more people are finishing their aggros. Turns out the general chat is working again because last time we were at the uh, previous map, it was not, um, last time we were the previous map, uh, we weren't allowed to use general chat. I think it was because there was too many people on the map or something, but I'm not sure about that. There's a cult here, we're not sure where he is though, but. Yeah, like you can see that, um, there's a grave there from cult, and this guy's undertaking immediately. Yeah, but um, we pretty much got this at the um at this time. There's there's no way that Colt can win from here. But like you you guys understand like what I'm what I'm talking about. Like Force, it's well organized. Scott is good at motivating people. Um, knows how to cough, knows how to organize coughs. Um, everything is smooth. People know what they're doing at at cough. Everyone has roles, Undertaker or Healer. So uh, as opposed to Colt. It's just disorganized. And Rips is screaming in the Alliance chat. Yelling for Undertakers and Healers when half of them don't even have a role. Um, yeah, Scott is... Um, he just um, wrote down the names of everyone in Infinity that turned up to cough. He keeps track of who turns up to cough, which is nice. Um, I don't know um, if other guilds and forces do that, but back, in, back when I was in Cult, 
there was no discipline whatsoever. Uh, because, yeah. Um, yeah, because like basically people just um, the the, the alliance cold. I bet you have like at least two hundred or three hundred people online at at this moment. They have like sixty three guilds, so that's pretty sad considering they only have like fifty people turn up to cough. There's no punishment for not turning up to cough either. It's just. It's just ridiculous. Uh, like leaving cult was like one of my best uh, decisions I made. Um, I, I got no respect from it either. Like, I I was also like a cough organizer for cult, but no one listened to me. No one gave a shit. Um, yeah. Another thing is that um, I've I've had several instances um in the uh when when I was in cult, uh, people would like PM me and say. Um, they would literally say, I'm just in cult for the prisms. I, I've never been to a cough. I don't care about cough and I will never turn up to a cough. I'm just in a uh, cult for the prisms. Like word for word, that is what people would say. It would piss me off so much, uh, because basically, um, with prisms, like you, l let's say you place a prism at, um, let's say Sufokia or Frigos, like Tear Tears of Oronegrite or Aspera Gorge, uh, popular areas for PVM. The prisms will most likely be used by people who PVM, but that's where the but comes in. The way to get the area and place the prism in the first place requires PvP, which is what you guys seen today, this cough, PvP was involved. So even though the people who get um, who benefit from the prisms are PVMers, the Alliance still needs to have some form of PVP capability in order to get the area in the first place and place the prism. Which is what Force has compared to Colt. Force has the majority of people who are PVPers. Colt is mainly PVMers and yeah, people who, like back when I was in Colt, people would say, oh, I'm just here for prisms, I don't care about cough. Well, there you go. That's another reason why I left Colt and it was the best decision I've made uh, for the past year in Dofus. Or, or maybe second decision. First decision was definitely to get into maging. I've made like 200 million karmas in six months. Yeah, but that, yeah, it, it, it's just like ridiculous. Like, um, my spy recently got kicked from uh, Cold Alliance. But before then, I was um, monitoring the Alliance chat during uh, coughs and stuff. Not necessarily coughs against force, but like coughs against uh, arch alliance as well. And there were people literally talking about PVM, people wanting a leech, people asking for uh, leeching groups and all that shit during a cough was going on. Like, come on, how low can you get? Like, there is a cough going on. You're supposed to be helping your alliance get a territory or defend a territory. And you're talking about that stuff. So, I don't want to make it sound like like I'm talking smack about cult, but that's just how it is. Alright, thank you guys for watching. We won Feudala Village. It was 6.30am. Um, difficult, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and learned about, um, more about cough and some of the reasons why I like cough and some reasons why I prefer force over cult.